What's going on you guys? You're watching Grim TV and in this video I'm going to be going over some tips on how to use the new Ripper Tallboy variant in the Swarm PvP mode for Back for Blood. The Ripper, like all the playable Ridden, has both pros and cons to its abilities and so it is important to play towards an ability's advantages to win games. The Ripper, unlike other tall boys, can hit cleaners from a considerably far distance away. As seen, this is a great way to allow the Ripper to stay in the fight without being at much risk to your own health. The Ripper's overhead smash attack sends a burrowing spike towards cleaners that can knock them up into the air. Preventing revives using this attack is a great way to be a nuisance for the other team. Just really keeping them off of revives. So you can just keep spamming the overhead smash from a good distance away. It allows you to prevent them from reviving their teammate without you really being at much risk. The Ripper's ability to attack from range also makes it great for powerful combo attacks when possible. You'll find that you can either attack from range and get closer to do further damage, or vice versa where you can start by attacking up close, and as your target creates distance, you can further damage them with ranged attacks. Another thing worth mentioning about the ranged attacks is that they throw enemies up into the air, and they also damage multiple targets at a time. It's a great way to break up enemy teams. The ranged attack for the Ripper can also be used almost as a decoy. If you send a ranged attack towards cleaners and act like you're going to go towards them but then attack from another direction, it can be a good way to kind of head fake the enemy team. I highly recommend spending your upgrade points when using any Ridden in Swarm PvP as it'll increase your damage, movement, health, and ability stats for the Ridden you're using. I see too many people that go through the game and don't realize that they're earning upgrade points or that they start the game with 50 upgrade points. So definitely be sure to take advantage of your upgrade points and Make your team more powerful, it will increase your chances of winning games, for sure. The abilities that the Ripper has, and the range that it's capable of, basically allow you to bully players on the other team. It's really hilarious in some situations.
big deal. No big deal. The Ripper is great for survivability because of its ranged attacks. When its abilities are paired with any other Ridden, it becomes almost overpowered in a lot of situations. But it's great fun to use. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to check out my tips on how to use the Shredder that was also recently added to Back for Blood. I'll have a link in the description or you can click the recommended video at the end of this video. When the Ripper is fully upgraded, like a lot of Ridden in this game, it's absolutely insane. The movement speed, the attack speed, and the damage that you're able to deal is really incredible. I was only able to get recorded gameplay of one game where I was fully upgraded in a couple categories. That's towards the end of this gameplay. So if you're interested in seeing what the Ripper looks like and what the attacks look like after he's fully upgraded definitely stick around towards the end of this video for that Thank you guys for watching. I hope these tips help some of you use the Ripper more effectively and win some games. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Back for Blood content. Take care, you guys. Peace.